Hey there, and thank you for joining me. Being on The Sally Show was an amazing experience for me. I feel like I want to celebrate reaching almost 130,000 views, but I want to cover it in a different way. This show at the time was a PG-14 rating, which I believe was aired about three o'clock in the afternoon uh, on weekdays. But now with my YouTube channel, and I believe everywhere else, um, anyone under the age of 18 cannot view. There is and was a social movement for the acceptance of the gay community. Here's a promo that played on the TV all day before it aired. Gay man. You want to marry this man? Yes. You want to have children with this man? Yes. But this man is gay. Do they even stand a chance? No, 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 no. There's sperm banks for that, honey. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Marie, you ain't got the tools between the legs to keep them happy. <laughs> Get over it. I'm gay. I'll cover my experiences a little later on, but I want to share this comment from by Sally Get Over It on Gay Video. I came to your channel for looking for more Sally episodes. I am not HIV positive or a gay man, but I loved this video. You have a wonderful personality and I learned a lot. I wish HIV AIDS was still at the forefront of sex education like it was when I was younger. Thank you for this video, heart. Thank you, AM. I appreciate your feedback and I agree 100%. It's all about mental and physical health, really. This was from my undetectable equals untransmittable plus prep video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. So moving on to my experiences on this. So they treated us well. I mean, we were lucky. It was Gay Pride Week in New York City. Uh, they picked us up on the limo. We were set up at the Radisson Empire. They paid for the food, the hotel room. Uh, we did some sightseeing. We checked out Pride. I mean, what an experience. We're there for three days. We taped for one. Before we started the filming, uh, I couldn't believe the amount of makeup they put on your face. I mean, at the end of it, I, I took a white paper towel and just got it and it was like brown all over my towel. It was, uh, but that's what they do on TV, right? While we were waiting in the green room to go on um, the set, there was the first set of people that um, actually ended up getting kicked off mid-segment because they found out they were already on for the same topic at another show and that's against the rules. We had to sign that before going on. And they lied. So I could imagine Sally was pretty pissed because she wasted her time with that segment. So then it happened, we were up next and we ended up being the first uh, segment of the show, which kind of worked out for us. I'll tell you this though, honestly, whenever we went to commercial break, Sally would just walk away. If we tried to address her, she just did the hand like, and, and that was it. She was not uh, at all friendly off taping. Uh, but fortunately, the audience was. We talked to you know the first row members, and they were cool. They're asking us questions. So I remember uh, one was asking about my engagement ring, and you know, saying what or where to be get them, and yeah, it was great. So a recent comment by a viewer really touched me. I never actually seen it in this light, and it was I never noticed it before really. And I want to share this. Uh, it's from Taryn Merritt. When Sean came out and he said, she ain't got the tools to keep him happy, the look of disgust on that guy's face, which is me, and how fast he took his hand away from Sean. He was not happy of being called out like that. Is Sally for real? Victim blaming him when she's the one sexually harassing him. She's not all there and she's going at him for th trifling her emo emotions and damp uh, her damn emotions, which she's talking about Sally. He said, no, doesn't matter if they kissed or whatever. He said, no, nothing more will happen. No means no. Would it be okay for a man to? Nobody battered an eyelid. And that's a really good point. If the situation was reversed, can you imagine the outcry? Uh, here's a short clip of that. Uh, Mike's boyfriend, Sean, is here today and asked that he be given the opportunity to explain this Nicely, I asked him to Anne Marie, Sean, come on out. <laughs> Anne Marie, you ain't got the tools between the legs to keep him happy. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> well, Sean, what do you think the problem is here? It's, she wants she wants a man she just she can't find one where she is like where she goes to gay bars they want one thing and she don't yes got it. i understand 
Turn I went to work. I lived five minutes away. By the time oh I got God. to work, I got a phone call at the house. She had climbed into bed with him, and no. he was naked. No. That's over my the bed. line. No. And Marie? I was no. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Do you think we can clear things up for you? Do you think you can understand that when they say they're gay, that they are, that you can't have intimacy with But him? we have. How? What do you when? call intimacy? I've never... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe it was like a We've dream. We've been intimate lots of times. What do you call intimacy? What's in your mind? What, what do you think is intimacy to you? Making out passionately. <laughs> we can't do that because that's trifling with someone's emotions. I was more upset about Sean, my fiance, not sticking up for me to Sally, where I failed to, and I should have, and I can't take it back, obviously, and I'm over it. I mean, it's been so many years, but it's kind of like a learning experience about what I should have and said it or done. Um, Sean, of course, I forgive him, but can you imagine, like, Amory, she jumped in bed while I was sleeping naked. I had no idea she was there until I woke up and what do I do? Like, get out of my bed, right? You don't see any shows like this anymore. I was proud to be able to speak freely about my sexuality and my relationships on TV. We had a relationship counselor and she did an amazing job. Here is a short clip of that. And that means if someone says, I am gay, you need to say, I love you, I respect you, okay and not go past those boundaries. Which we have done, uh, what Anne-Marie has yes. done. Yes. It's very important in any relationship to respect each other's, you know, that word space is so played out, you know. But it really is respecting the person for who they are. And then what happens is we say, oh, I love you, I can change you. No, you can't. You can't change, just like you can't change the stripes on the zebra, because that's how nature made the zebra. Appreciate it for that. And I think that what is happening is we are seeing that underneath, like in our, in our young ladies here, yes, I can appreciate how they were hurt by some men. What you need to do is get the wound healed first. There are a lot of good heterosexual men who will take very good care of you. There is no place for young people to really go to talk in a, in a good, healthy manner about how to develop healthy sexuality. It's about the sex act. It's not about the sexual development. That's right. It's not about how you become a really good, expressive, love person. It goes much more deeper than that. If you want to see the whole thing in entirety, just check, check out my video, Get Over It, I'm Gay, Sally Show. Switching gears a little bit, there's a Don't Say Gay law in Florida that passed that teachers from grade K through 12 can no longer instruct about sexual orientation or sexual identity. This is more reason why I want to speak out on my channel about this. I firmly believe at the appropriate age children should be taught about gender identity, sexual orientation, and the history of the gay movement and HIV AIDS. This is my opinion though, so let me know in the comments below what you think and anything about my video. Thank you for taking the time to join me and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell to be notified if you haven't already. Until next time, Michael K here. Take care everyone.